Welcome. Welcome to Coffee with the Chair. I'm Teresa Aronson from the St. Lucie County Chamber of Commerce. It's our pleasure, our honor to do this event every fourth Friday of the month. It's free. It's open to the public. It's right here at the SLC TV studios, corner of 25th and Virginia. And we, of course, serve coffee and Danish courtesy of Pot Belly Deli every time you join us in our studio audience. We have a special show today. We're going to be wrapping up the year with last year's Board of County Commission <coughs> Chair, Linda Bartz. So I'm going to introduce her now. We're going to start with her. We're going to end with her. It's just going to be the two of us today. Please welcome Board of County Commission uh, uh, member now, Linda yes. Bartz. Yes, yes, I can't say chair anymore. You no, chair. but you can say commissioner. Yes, so. I can say commissioner. I can. So every time you guys uh, seem to rotate, you, you take turns. On a yearly basis. Yes. And so just when I get used to calling you Chair Bartz, I have to revert back to Commissioner Bartz. But that's, that's my issue. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. And we have um, kind of a wrap up. What happened this year? What's, what great things happened in St. Lucie County over the past year under your tenure? We've had a lot of things happening. It is a pleasure to be a part of this county and see the growth and see the economic development that we're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has really been extensive this year. Let's talk about that economic development. Um, huge things at the port, at the airport, and some expansions. So, so let's Pursuit, get into it. Maverick, um, those are, and they have been approved in record amount of time. They have been. Um, eight weeks. That's unheard of. It is, but I do want to tell people, because you know I work on the Development Review Task Force, and we have a new program where we're assisting people in their permitting process. It was eight weeks from the time they applied, but there was many, many months of work leading up to what they should apply for. So it, um, I don't think you say, hey, I'm going to expand and build a new building, and then eight weeks later you're you're approved, there's processes. Absolutely. Yeah, and I don't but want people to, to think that everybody gets eight no, weeks. No, but to get through that process and have it only be eight weeks yes. is a big deal. It is a big deal. And we do that for targeted industries. Absolutely. And I think that makes sense. These are industries we want here. Um, we, we need them here. We need to raise our median income. So there is a process. For and they industries. fit. Yes. The county. Yes, they do. So those targeted in industries, I think that we have found um, what the residents really want. Yeah. Um, we are adding jobs all the time. We are. So, you know, and on top of the port, the airport, we've got Amazon. Yeah, um, they have a fulfillment center. Absolutely. Up by the airport, actually. And yeah. if you've watched... I see their trucks going around all the time. I see their trucks constantly, and I am getting packages in record time. <laughs> have you have you used that service? I mean, it is like 24 hours sometimes. I know. I it's amazing. Crazy. I try to stay off Amazon Prime. I was just going to say, I try to buy what I can local. Some things you just can't. I, local? Yeah. And the fact is, is you get on there and... They have everything on there. Yeah. So sometimes it's really hard to go, I need to back away from this. Yes, yes. That, um, we're glad that they're here, too. So Absolutely. You're, you're, you want them to bring more <laughs> here, so it makes it kind of hard. But, yes, yeah, so those targeted industries, as we talked about, are um, manufacturing, for one. And the reason for manufacturing is because that is where the dollars stay in your Yes. When they sell their product, those monies come back to the, the community they were manufactured in. So we have um, Pursuit Boats and Maverick we talked about, and now we're going to go into a different targeted industry with MROs, maintenance, repair, and overhaul. Yes. For boats and airplanes. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, yeah. So um, we decided on director yes. to take over the port. They are now open. We had a building to demolish, uh, taking longer than we anticipated mm -hmm. um, due to asbestos. Um, um, it is a very, very old, old building. Incredibly old building, yes. So um, having it come down was took a, a little longer than what we anticipated, but director is in. Yay. Um, they've got a, a lift coming in. Mm -hmm. which is supposed to be the largest 
in the world. That's what I hear. I can't yes. wait to see it. It's my understanding that Paul Director went to Italy to put this thing together. Now it will come to him in pieces. Okay. And, and they'll they'll re um, assemble it here. Assemble it here. So. And that, it's funny, um, Paul Director. It's the director. That's where it gets its name. It's his last name. Paul I director. know that's so. I, isn't people that always funny? think it because they spell it um, with a K. Yes, yes. But they always want to just spell it the word director. And um, they're going to be doing sailboats mostly there. Sailboats will be a big part of their business. Um, there is no place on the East Coast that has access so a, sail, a mega sailboat can get in. So right now, mega sailboats are going to Europe. The, um, to be repaired or yes. overhauled. So a nice niche. Uh, mm -hmm. They're working with the college to do internships and work, uh, internships and, and pull people in from the college yeah. to start working on the boats. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not supposed to call it boats. No, I'm we're supposed, supposed to call, to call it yachts. yachts. Yeah, they get kind of, um, they don't really love it when you call it a boat. I know. Yeah, 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 I it's know. a yacht. And you know what's um, it's funny to me is uh, these jobs are higher waged jobs, as yes. they say, and that is also a targeted market we're trying to reach. I can't tell you, I do quite a few shows, as you know, and a lot of the time the questions are, where's my cheesecake factory? Where's my Trader Joe's? Why won't Costco come here? And um, I have to explain to them, they're looking for benchmarks in Absolutely. our median uh, wage, our disposable income, and, and we haven't reached them yet. And these sorts of jobs will help us. Well, I've been promoting a cheesecake factory for years. Yes. I'm a cheesecake fan. Okay. Um, but we just, if you go to the ones in Palm Beach, you see the turnover. Yes. Um, they are able to fill it and constantly turn over. And we're not quite there yet. No, I mean, we don't have a million um, people exactly. with all three counties. And they want, Absolutely. most of these larger um, retail outlets want a million people. Mm -hmm. We don't have it. And, uh, and they want a certain amount of disposable income or an average wage. And we Absolutely. haven't really made that yet either. So but we're getting there. We're getting there. It just takes time. Mm -hmm. You know, when I moved here, there were 14,000 people. Oh, my goodness. It, and I'm sorry, that was in the city. In Port St. Lucie, there was, yes. But uh, look at where we are now with about 200,000 people. I would say the uh, census, which is coming around now, is going to be, uh, I, I would bet, a little over 2,000, 200,000 people. Got to get those people doing the census, though. This is an important PSA we should get out there, and we'll explain why, but yes. Absolutely. Um, and you have many opportunities to complete your census. Uh, they, they contact you email, online, um, all kinds of ways. You can go to their website, fill it out once they get up and running. They don't knock door to door until it's a last resort. So if you don't want them coming to your door where you're looking at them and going, Oh dear, who's coming to my door yes. now? Yes. Um, and everybody has Ring? Y so, yeah, yeah, the yes. camera app that, yes. So they see them coming and then they don't answer the door. They don't. So if you don't want them coming to the door, you need to fill it out. Yes. And we fill it out as, as part of our community service because we receive funding based on our census. So for every, I think, child or adult that isn't counted, it's, it's tens of thousands of dollars that we lose out on. For each child, it is my understanding, it's, or anyone. Or any one person. Yes, it is about $1,600 that is left on the table for coming to the state and trickling down to us. Yes, you know, for all the services that are federally funded. Absolutely. Yes. So we need them to fill it out. And it has, a, there's no retribution of what you put on there. There's no consequences to what you state on your census. No, because it is locked up somewhere for like mm -hmm. 75 years. Yes. So if you fill it out, chances are it'll never be accessed exactly. in our. Exactly, yeah. When we know about it. So don't worry about filling that out. It yeah. doesn't no matter ice, your status. No police. No, fill that thing out. 
Good. Very, very important. I'm glad important. we talked about that, too. Let's go over some big things that you have been a part of. You've been in um, politics since 2006. Six. Yep, I remember. On the leadership bus together. Absolutely. Campaigning. Um, but uh, since 2006, you were, of course, at the city of Port St. Lucie. And, and this year, a lot of the things that you started down there have come to fruition. We've seen them come to life. Again, so exciting. Yeah. Um, probably one of the biggest things, Crosstown Parkway. Oh, come on. And yeah. people are loving it. I, d I drove it a few times, and I love it, too. Now, I don't, I don't do a lot on that side of town, but if I do, I, I make it a point to take it. And I don't mind the Michigan left. I have not used. I have. I have not had the opportunity to use that. Um, but it is so quick, and I go on it off of Oroso typically. Okay. And either I go east on Oroso or, or west. And it is saving time. Yeah. It is in a, an incredibly nice ride. It is. And beautiful. the Walter England Bridge is just beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's very, it's very pretty. It's very well done. Um, the artwork is gorgeous. And you're right. I try to, if I do know I'm going to go east, I try to come off of Oroso, and then it's a straight shot. If you come off Floresta, you're going to have to do the Michigan left, which is a right and yes. then a left, and then uh, a, you know you can go over the bridge. But still, it's a great thing. And then we saw uh, VGTI, a new partner there. Cleveland Clinic. Couldn't ask for a better partner. We really couldn't. Um, and they have um, come to our county uh, in so many ways. Mm -hmm. uh, Martin Health yep. is now Cleveland Clinic. So we had Tradition Hospital. Yes. For, that was Martin Health, and now it's Cleveland Clinic. Very, very exciting. Yeah. They have a new partnership with, I think, the Lerner Institute, and they're going to do a lot of research in that VGTI yes. building. Yes. And uh, having Cleveland Clinic as, as a partner, really, could you ask for a better partner? No, it's it's great. You just have to wait for the right timing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when that was built, uh, we went through a recession. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no grant money. So it took a while. It, it did. But it, it's again, hard. timing is everything to bring the right partner in. Yes, um, NIH grants during the recession were one of the first federal funding things to be cut, and that's what a lot of those biotech and research uh, institutes were subsisting on. Tory Pines got a partner. Yeah, FIU is going to yes. come in. So again, things are going well. Yes. Both Pines, for I'm the city, for, yeah, and both. the county, yeah. And if it goes well for either one of us, it's we easy. all benefit. And uh, we talked about pursuit and Mavericks, yes. but we also kept another local business, and they're moving more of their operations here, uh, right next to VGTI, and that's uh, City Electric. I know. And Oculus is coming in. Yes, Oculus uh, has uh, purchased. They finalized the land. Yes. So they're going to be coming in as well. So that whole corridor, the Jobs Corridor, as we like to call it, Southern Groves, is really expanding. There's been a lot going on out and there. And good job. And jobs that suit our community. Yes, that fit. We still have, I think, roughly 60% of our people leaving town to work, leaving the county to work every day, and we need to bring more of that home. Studies show the further you go, the more money you spend out of county, and we Absolutely. really want to keep it all here. I think that that will change now that the jobs are mm -hmm. here, now that the opportunities are here. Yes. Um, because even when I moved here, uh, it was a much nicer ride to Palm Beach. I only went there to the mall. Oh, um, yeah. um, the Palm Beach Mall, I remember. Yes, yeah. but I did all my shopping locally. So, you know, we didn't have all of that stuff. I understood people leaving the county to do that. Yeah. Um, there just wasn't the opportunity. But I think as people see the opportunity, um, the expansion, the businesses opening, I think we'll see those numbers get better. I think so too, and, and I'm excited about that. And I think that we're, we not only us locally, but the state is um, making maneuvers to help us in that vein by expanding on their career and technical uh, front. And 
so we see that going on as well. Uh, Indian River State College is hoping to shore up their money. Aspen? Well, Aspen right. Award this Aspen year? Aspen Award winning Indian River State College. What what an honor. I mean, they've been after that thing for as long as I've been here. As, uh, yes. And Took so a long time, but uh, well worth it. Um, a lot of excitement there. Yes, and they did get some funding for that uh, career and technical building. They're gonna, they're going to yes. build right, uh, right on uh, what street is that? Thirtieth? I don't know, right across from the kite. Yes. Yes. I think it's thirtieth. Is it thirtieth? Does anybody know where the Big Apple is? I'm, I'm not get sure, trouble. but it is thirty-fifth. Okay. Right across from Big Apple. Yeah, yeah. Which they, does a lot of good in this community. They do. Scott Van Duzer and the Van Duzer Foundation. Uh, that's his store, and he's done countless fundraisers. Yes. yes. And um, that building that will be built there will allow students to dual enroll for certifications in some manufacturing um, technologies that will help them get jobs at some of these new, new places we've been talking about. Very, very exciting. Um, we just finished up budget. Times. We did. Yes. We and, did. Uh, the county, we did see an increase. As, as most people know, county government receives the majority of their funding from property taxes, and we saw a good increase there. It was decent. It was not necessarily as large as some others. Right. Um, and the good thing is, is we have finally balanced that five year plan, which, is which was big, huge. so important. Um, that was started by another commission, mm -hmm. um, but we worked hard to maintain that and understanding how important that is. Yeah. People want a balanced budget in government, and it's not always a possibility, but when you can get there, it is something definitely to Absolutely. be proud of. So we have a balanced budget. I think our bi biggest issue is inmate medical. Yes. People yes. don't realize the cost. what that cost. Um, cost us over six million dollars last year. Yeah. So, and there are some issues that the federal government can allow us or don't allow us to make adjustments. Yeah. So it's been very tough. I've been to Washington advocating talking to all the legislators I can. I've been meeting with the sheriff's department. Um, we're working on it. You know, I don't think people understand uh, the scope of how insurance and the insurance industry affects every day, um, everybody. And the, the federal government gets to say what they allow. So you can't get a plan or a, or a group plan or even a self-funded plan for your inmates you have to pay out of pocket. You have to negotiate locally. And by statute, hospitals. we have to do it. You have it to provide them care. It is not something that mm -hmm. we can say, yeah, we'll let the, the jail go. Yes, um, you have to do it. Federally mandated, but not funded. Well, those people going in lose their benefits. Yes. Um, and when they lose their benefits, we have to pick that up. Yep. And it's tough, and we forget that there's a trickle-down effect. Mm -hmm. So if you have somebody going in who has a spouse and a family, we have to remember that they lose their benefits as well. So what do they do? They go on state or federal aid. So we're all paying it, yes. no matter what we do. But, you know, it would be so different if we would... And what about those inmates that have the charges dropped, mm -hmm. go to court or found innocent? They have still lost everything. Mm -hmm. And when they get out, sometimes it takes them several months to get it back, to get those benefits back. Yeah. I know. It, that, it, it is a huge issue, and it is a federal issue. Absolutely. Yeah. But we're working on it diligently. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking over our notes, and I feel like we covered um, just about everything, right? Did Sunshine we, Kitchen. Yes, the Sunshine. You know, we did an event out at the Sunshine Kitchen this year, too. And for those of you that don't know, that's an incubator for uh, food-related businesses. And um, it's out at kind of what we call Tesserta, the research park. 
and it is owned by the county. Yes. They have a couple of great people working out there, and they're there to help you get started. So if you make a great spaghetti sauce, you want to start distributing it, or um, they even have some caterers out there. Absolutely. It's a great place to go out and incubate your business. Well, we just had a meeting out there, and somebody presented that they have a vending machine. If I remember right, it's about 36 inches tall. Okay. It bends, sal um, it bends salads. Very nice. So you put, I want to say it's like $8. Okay. And then you have eight items you are allowed to put in your salad. Oh, I see. So it's not a prepackaged salad. No, no, it's no. Making a salad for you. Oh, very and nice. And you make those choices. That's so. So nice. if you don't like tomatoes, no tomatoes. No carrots, extra carrots. If you don't like cheese, no, no cheese. cheese. Oh, I love that. Isn't idea. that a good idea? So we are going to test it. Okay. Um, Do you want I to test it? Well, our office isn't very big, so I don't know where you're going to test it. Well, probably here okay. to see how it works. Um, but I think everybody's excited about it. I think that's cool. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. So if you can't get away for lunch, there's at least a salad there a that you can. Option. I was just yes. on a cruise. The healthy options were minimal at best. <laughs> well, that's what a cruise is all about. I know, I know. But I tried. I really did. Well, before we go, um, we'll, we'll mention a couple of more things uh, for Stata Field, of course. Yes. Is, uh, In production. Also a county um, held. But in, in Congress with uh, the Mets, obviously. Yes. And they hope to get that open and ready for spring training. They do. In fact, I talked to Paul Taglieri last night. You did? Very optimistic. Okay. So let's go with that. Well, it looks like still big piles of dirt out there, but well, You okay. know, you know how we go in and that looks like that. Yeah. And then before we know it, it's, it's kind of like building a house. Yeah. You have the property and you're going over going. Oh my God, it's never going to be ready. Yeah. And then once they start, really it's start done. getting to a point, it's done. Well, we had a little bit of a setback with the hurricane scare. Yes. So the hurricane that just wouldn't decide what it wanted to do yes. for days. And unfortunately devastated the Bahamas. The Bahamas yes. We and got quite lucky. Oh no, we really, really did. Yeah. Other thing that we're doing is our sales tax. The, we are, yes, yeah. and we are starting to work on Prima Vista. Yes. Such a big deal in my district. Yes, I've it been is. calling for it for a long yeah. time. Uh, but what an amazing. And we worked with the city mm -hmm. because they were getting ready to open Crosstown. We didn't want to shut down Prima Vista because that only left. Port St. Lucie exactly. Boulevard. Exactly. We need so, options there. That was the whole point of Crosstown in the first place, and then to... to, to right. But we're just going to limit some lanes on Prima Vista, right? Or, or will it be shut down completely in some... Oh, no, no. Okay, just And they're going to be doing some work at night. Okay. Good. So that will help as well. But uh, exciting. I don't think they've done that in a long, long time. No, it's des desperately needed at Prima Vista. All right, well, I think that's about it, and... Um, I want to congratulate you, actually, for a career well served. I mean, a lot has happened in your tenure, and yes. you're just getting started at the county. So this is uh, great news and more to come. Yes, and you know when I started, it was right at the beginning of the recession. Yes, it was. So it was pretty tough. It was. So now being able to work when things are going better, what a difference. Yeah. Yeah. And how exciting. So. Yeah, it is a little easier to get up in the morning when you know that it's not as bleak as it once has been. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, um, I, and I know that uh, you have a lot on your plate still and a lot that you're advocating for you want to see happen before anything uh, else. So I appreciate it. I want to thank, thank um, our, our staff. We sometimes say goodbye to, but I always get everybody back. So I know I'll see you again. You guys fill in for one another. Um, so it won't be the last of you on our show. I for hope sure. not. No, it I hope will not. not be. But thanks to Mike and Flynn here in the studio. Of course, to Pop Belly Deli that uh, provides our coffee and Danish. You can watch the show on Comcast 28 or UVerse 99 and also our YouTube channel. Please head over to our YouTube channel. Don't forget about our sponsor. 
Our sponsor, um, who was our sponsor this year? HCA. Next year. HCA was. Oh, uh, but we're going to A&G Pools. We are, we are. So we, we um, this show was actually a freebie. We, we, we didn't have a sponsor today, but we're going to A&G Pools um, starting in January. Again, wonderful. They give back to the community. Um, a in lot. so many ways. Yeah. But a big thanks to HCA, who was our partner this past year. We really did enjoy it. I forgot that. that you also go for, through a reorg. We do. <laughs> we do. We have, to, we have to resell everything every year. It's kind of like having to get reelected every year. Yes, um, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, thanks to everybody. Thank you to our studio audience for joining us today, and we appreciate it. Until next time, everybody, have a great day. <laughs> I, I like going through the whole show like this.